Nigeria celebrated its 63rd Independence Day today. The theme for the 2023 Independence Day anniversary in Nigeria was Nigeria at 63 renewed hope for unity and prosperity. In his address to the nation, President Bola Tinobu shared 10 main points to Nigerians. The president praised founding fathers for giving birth to the idea of an independent Nigeria. He affirmed Nigeria's rights as a sovereign nation and that no one group is greater than the other. Tinobu highlighted Nigeria's diversity but also its shared bonds and ideals. The president noted challenges of forging a united nation but that Nigeria will endure. He also celebrated seventh consecutive civilian democratic government. Tinobu outlined promises to reform economy, secure lives and prosperity, and also property. The president defended ending fuel subsidy and need for reforms despite short-term pain. He announced measures to provide relief, including wage increase and infrastructure fund. Tinobu unveiled plans to boost transportation through CNG and support SMEs. The president also pledged to prioritize security appointments and transparency. And for more on this, our correspondent Louisa Olani has sent us this report. As after returning to the country following a two-week-long trip to attend United Nations General Assembly in New York, President Bola Tinubu in his 63rd Independence Day celebration national broadcast today has once again empathized with Nigerians on the effects of his administration reforms, acknowledging the pain it has caused citizens, but reiterating it is what greatness and the future require. Now, outlining the part he's taking to relieve the stress on families and households, the president introduced a provisional wage increment to enhance the federal minimum wage where average low-grade workers shall receive an additional 25,000 naira per month for the next six months, amongst other measures. Now, with organized labor threatening to embark on an indefinite strike uh, come October 3rd due to the hardship occasioned by the removal of fuel subsidy, the country looks forward to the adverse effect of the palliative uh, measures so highlighted and labor's next move. From Lagos, Nigeria, Louisa Olani, we on this one. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.